unboxing. Once you open the box, you'll find two packets. One is a tools pack, and the other is an extra gasket pack. The bare bone kit is packed in the pulp paper bag. The tool packet includes a screwdriver, an L-shaped hex wrench, and a pack of replacement screws. The gasket packet contains replacement silicone gaskets. Now, let's take a look at how to assemble all the parts onto the bare bone. How to build. Opening your keyboard kit. First, flip the kit over to the back. You'll see nine screws. Remove all of them and flip back while holding housing together carefully to avoid parts falling. Carefully lift the top housing and disconnect the ribbon cable. The top housing can now be safely removed to give you access to the internal components. How to swap switch plates. If you purchase an FR4 switch plate, you can swap it in after opening your keyboard kit. Just make sure to transfer the gasket from the original polycarbonate plate to the new one before swapping the switch plate. First, lift off the switch plate after removing the top housing. Move gaskets from the original polycarbonate plate to the new FR4 plate. Then, swap in the new FR4 switch plate. Next, reconnect ribbon cable and housing. Lastly, flip the kit over to the back and screw all 9 screws back in. How to install the Maker 75 wireless module In simple terms, replace the wireless module in the battery cutout and install the wireless control panel with the correct button placement. However, let's go through it step by step to make sure we don't miss anything. First, follow the previous steps to open the keyboard kit and disconnect the ribbon cable. Remove all internal parts, leaving only the bottom layer with the battery cut out. Please note that there is a rubber pad in the wired model. Please remove it, only leaving the battery cut out pad. Take the wireless module out of the box. You'll see five plastic pins on the back. You'll also notice five slots on the back of the socket foam. 
Next, install the wireless module by lining up the plastic pins with the corresponding slots on the rear of the socket foam. Once the plastic pins are lined up, apply some pressure to the four corners of the module until they click into place. If you don't hear a click, please gently push on the silver part until you hear a click. Switch the power to on. If the wireless module is successfully installed, the white LED will light up. Then, remove the plastic forehead piece. Take the wireless control panel and wireless receiver out of the box. Install wireless control panel. The button layout from left to right is Power on off Corsair word mark Slipstream 2.4 GHz button and last but not least Bluetooth button Put all the components and layers back. Please ensure all buttons on the wireless control panel are properly aligned with their corresponding positions on the PCB. Lastly, flip back and screw all 9 screws back in. How to install the Maker 75 LCD module. To put it simply, we take out the rotary dial module and swap it with the LCD module in the top right corner. That said, let's go through each step to review the details more thoroughly. Follow the previous steps to open your keyboard kit. Flip back the housing and unscrew the three dial module screws. Flip the housing to the front and pull off the dial. Then, you can fully remove the dial module.
After the dial module is removed, you can install the LCD module. When unboxing the LCD module, you see an LCD ring and an LCD. Attach the ring to upward facing housing. Flip the housing over. Insert the LCD and secure it with three screws. Reconnect ribbon cable to top housing. All done! After powering on, you'll see the boot up animation on the LCD. Last but not least, let's see how to enable wireless connectivity. How to enable wireless connectivity. First, Slide the power switch on to turn on the keyboard in wireless mode. The wireless button will turn solid white once pairing is complete. If you want to switch to the Bluetooth mode, just press the Bluetooth button. The wireless button will blink blue for 5 seconds during pairing and will turn solid blue once pairing is complete. And that wraps up the how to assemble guide. Thank you for watching. If you're interested in any of these modules, feel free to take a look on our website for more details.